Welcome back to another blended learning video. If you're watching this video, you have reviewed the PowerPoint slides and read the assigned chapter. This video will model the process of operationalizing the data and information in your upcoming project. Also, give careful consideration to Tables 2.1 and Table 2.2. Table 2.1 causes a poor health quality data and support your summary of the problem your project is addressing. The activities for improving data quality in Table 2.2 can support your possible solution section. Let's go ahead and get started in the chapter. Please open your textbook to page 50. We're going to talk a little bit about data versus information. And then I went ahead and redrew the um, figure 2.1 and put it into a more conceptual map. And think of it as starting in data, then going to information, and then finally ending up in and knowledge and think of that as a as a process a circular process in this in this case or the way I drew it let's use public health as an example and we'll use a definition from O'Carroll's textbook on public health information systems and he describes it as a systematic application of information and in computer science and technology to public health practice research and learning if we drill down what is driving the change? Why do health professionals need to be knowledgeable about computerized health information systems? One of the drivers is the reform. Think about the Affordable Care Act. Another is growth in managed care. And then finally, health information revolution. Think about uh, electronic records, electronic health records. The terms data, information, and knowledge are often misused in discussions about healthcare information systems. Therefore, it's important that you understand and have a grasp of the precise meanings of these terms to be an effective manager. All right, let's get you a formal definition of data. Data is a measurement or characteristic of the person or thing that is the focus of an information system. So let's get an example using public health. A public health assessor records the levels of toxins at various locations at a waste site. Information. Data placed in context within an analysis. Going back to our example, the public health assessor creates a table showing the proportion of locations exceeding the appropriate maximum contamination level at the waste site. Knowledge. The application of information by the use of rules. Our public health assessor consults the action levels for the contamination based upon a journal entry or a publication by a lead authority like the CDC and then makes a remediation plan accordingly. Let's try another example. A health organization records the number of HIV infections in the largest cities in South Carolina. That's the data. Information. Data placed in context with the analysis. The health organization tabulates the positives at the various HIV clinics th throughout the state. Along with the information from the HIV clinics, the researchers also tabulate the HIV cases at the area hospitals in the largest cities in South Carolina. Finally, the researchers take the information from the rehab facilities for intravenous drug users where they've reported cases of HIV in these cities. Knowledge, the application of information by the use of rules. So they take in the three data sets that they have from the information that they're tallying and they've been tabulating. They then go and do a literature review. They look for debt benchmarks or precedents that were set based upon journal articles and ha then from there take that knowledge create a course of action or a remediation plan. 